so there's a lot uh basically a lot of people talk about like what the trooper struggle and they want to know that or there's some schools trying to fight against it that don't mean right there there ain't no juvenile struggle uh we got cafeteria we got meal plan this and that but yeah we know the meal plan is basically like three times a day on the weekdays now on the weekends two times a day right but it's not all about eating for like the juvenile struggle yeah it's more yeah. mental yeah you in that room at night <laughs> And you get that one reference that weekend and uh the Saturday uh lunch, dinner, whatever you wanna call it, especially leftovers mixed up food and shit. Mm-hmm. That those shit start getting to your head. Yeah. So, so explain this juke struggle for you, because you and you went to Juco Academy. She I got meal plans, mm-hmm. dorms and stuff like that. But basically break it down for them. Uh what you went through. My Juco struggle, like yeah. like you said, like with the eating part, that 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 really messed with me too. Cause like you so used to having home cooked meals, coming home, your mama cooking, your girl cooking, whoever cooking, you feel me, grandma, whoever cooking, you were straight. But when you got to JUCO, and like you said, sitting in that room and just thinking about like, damn, is this what I want to do? Like, I remember not having money to do nothing. It wasn't nothing doing Kansas anyway, but I'm talking about it was either get a job and which I end up getting a job. It was either getting a job and working and getting your money or you broke, bro. Like I remember coming in eating off off the bags I had from the night before. You feel what I'm saying? Like I take a Burger King bag and flatten that out. You feel me from them dollar sixty nine nuggets. You feel what I'm saying like niggas stayed on them because uh, you can find a dollar sixty nine. I don't care. A homeless man can find a dollar sixty nine. You feel what I'm saying so. Nuggets was the thing for me. You feel me. Other than that, nuggets in the uh, the cereal in the cafeteria because our food was nasty. So we had meal plans, but the food was nasty. So. It canceled, out. it canceled out. You feel what I'm saying? You you weren't really eating. You, you I I remember going in, going up in there. Like I go up in the cafeteria, look up in the line, see what they got there. I remember the lady poured the milk and the damn mac and cheese right in front of us, bro. And that, that did it for me. Like I'm like, yeah, this lady that came and poured the damn cold ass milk and this mac and cheese and flooded it like like it was soup. Yeah, you did it for me, like. I'm gonna go eat the cereal with that same milk that you just poured. Like, <laughs> other than that, bro, I'm in that room, man, struggling, bro, eating off bags, bro. That that part. You don't know where you're heading. Like, it's not a definite for sure you're gonna get to that level. Like, yeah. You want to talk at sixty or anything? It, it, that it, is guaranteed. It's not. It's not. Over, so it's like Cause, all that shit fucks up with your mind. Right, because if you if you get you get hurt in junior college. Over with. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no school don't want to bring in no nobody that's injury prone that's always getting hurt. You feel me? Like Cosens used to be on us. He got so mad at me because I ain't played the Fort Scott game because I had uh got hurt the game before. You feel me? Roll my ankle up. Somebody had rolled my ankle up, and I'm talking about to the point where I couldn't walk. And he like, like you need to be out here. You feel what I'm saying? Snapping on me like. You can't afford to get hurt. You don't get hurt. We don't get hurt. Like, damn, I'm hurting though. And you telling me like I can't get hurt. Like I can't even walk. You want me to go out here and cover somebody? Like, I'm gonna get bombed. Like I couldn't do it, bro. Like my pride was too, too much for that. Like I can't, I can't go out there and just let let one of them me. And I know I, I'm barely walking. You feel me? So I think a lot of that is just him. He know how that. You being hurt on the sound looks to like other schools. And yep. so y'all got the best medical staff and you that you can mm-hmm. accept as there. Yeah. But they ain't like they gonna rehab you to like some like some good ass training staff. Facts. So it's like you gonna be basically damaged good. So mm-hmm. I I'm basically looking at the perception like, damn, this nigga not out here. He's, he's supposed to think he's injury prone, just like you said. Mm-hmm. And, and, and he thinking like how the, my teammates looking at me, because I've always been one of, them, one of them guys, you feel me, like teammates I look up to for some reason. Like he'll 
high school, part one, it, it don't matter where I was at. Somebody, somebody got some type of wisdom from me. Somebody looked up to me some type of way. You feel me? So doing that, just had some of my teammates look at me like, damn, what Lonnie on? You feel me? Not playing. So let me, let me, let me try this the next week. You feel what I'm saying? Like that wasn't the uh, perception I was trying to get him. You feel what I'm saying? I was just trying to let let people know like I'm I'm real deal hurt out here. But like, like I I go out there hurt and play. I grind for mine, but I couldn't do it that game. Like I was hurt.